In this video, we will learn about row number and row number of our partitions, just like we do in SQL. So for this, I have selected one table that is products and I will make the reference so that I will do every change here, not in the original table. So the table name is product2 and I am interested in column product name and product color. So I need, I will remove the other columns. After this, uh, you have to click the add columns. And here you can see we have uh, index column. And if I click uh, from zero, then indexing will start from zero to onward. And uh, here you can see this indexing is from zero to onward. And if I click from 1, then the index name will start from 1 to onwards. And then we have custom. Here you can write any starting index. For example, if I write here 4 and I need the increment of 2, then click OK. And here you can see it is started from 0, uh, from 4, from 4 and 8, 12, 16 and onwards with the increment of 4. So this is how we can add a row index. And um, you need to remember this formula add index column that because we have to use later. And uh, now I, I will remove these three. Add index 1, 2 and Okay, so now the uh, requirement is so we need row number over partition by color. For example, if the row number start from 0, 1, 2, 3, so onward. And when the new color will come, the counting will start again from 0. So how we can do this? We just need to click transform and here it is group by. In the group I, we need to select the column that is color and uh, the column name can be any. For example, it is color grouping and the operation we need to perform here, all rows and click OK. In front of black, there is one table. So the whole record set is in the form of uh, grouping. So if I click table in front of black, we will get everything, every color that is black and so on. So we need to click here add column and uh, need to add custom column here. So you can choose any name here uh, and uh, then we have to use here the M code. This is the function is index table dot add index column the same index we have applied here and then we need to it takes a couple of parameters and the first parameter is the table that we have provide here color grouping and then the other new column I can write here data or then the starting initial value will be 0 and the final value is 1 the increment is 1 then click then we need to close it we need to close it okay and we are interested in this custom column we don't need this because we have we had already used this color groups color grouping in the custom uh, column so i will right click here and remove other columns and uh, then you need to click here this two arrows and click okay so here you can see we are getting for example black so it is started with zero and uh, so here you can so after black there is a silver so silver is being started with zero again and uh, here you can see after silver there is yellow so this is how we can apply 
a row number of our partition. So that's all.